In this tutorial, we'll create a simple script to simulate a character's health in a game. We'll explore how to handle damage and automatic healing using potions. Throughout the tutorial, we'll use fundamental math functions like MathMax and MathMin to control the character's health, providing an engaging example of practical usage. In these lines, we are setting up the initial parameters for a character's health management system in a game. Max Health establishes the maximum health value the character can have, serving as a reference point for their overall well-being. Current Health initializes the character's current health to be equal to the maximum health, effectively starting the game with full health. Auto Potion defines a threshold for the character's health. If their health falls below this threshold, 30% in this case, the game automatically triggers the use of a healing potion to help them recover. Potion amount determines the effectiveness of the healing potion. In this case, the potion restores the character's health to its maximum value, providing a full recovery. These lines establish the foundation for managing the character's health and ensuring they can maintain their well-being throughout the game by automatically using healing potions when necessary. while TrueDo initiates an infinite loop, representing the ongoing gameplay loop. This line simulates the character taking damage. The math random function generates a random number between 5 and 15, indicating the amount of damage inflicted on the character's health. This value is subtracted from the current health. Next line ensures that the character's health doesn't go below zero. If the calculated health after taking damage is negative, it's set to zero to prevent negative health values. Print function it is used to show the health of the character to the console, allowing the player to see how much health they have after taking damage. If the current health it is less than the auto potion then. This conditional statement checks if the character's health is below the threshold set by auto potion. If the health falls below this threshold, it triggers the activation of a healing potion. Next line prints a message to notify the player that their health is below the designated threshold. It prompts them to take action by using a healing potion. Math min current health plus potion amount comma max health. This line represents the application of the healing potion. It adds the potion amount to the character's current health, but ensures that the health doesn't exceed the maximum health limit max health. 
This prevents the character from having more health than their maximum capacity. The print function informs the player that a healing potion has been used and displays the character's updated health status after using the potion. The OS execute function is used to execute shell commands, and in this case, the command being executed is sleep1, which instructs the operating system to suspend the execution of the script for one second. This is often used to introduce delays in scripts, such as creating a pause between iterations of a loop. It's a powerful tool that enables interaction with the underlying operating system. With OS Execute, you can run almost any shell command that you could run directly from the command line. While this function provides a way to interact with the operating system, it's important to note that its behavior might vary depending on the platform. For example, a command that works on Linux might not work the same way on Windows. Using OS Execute can introduce security risks if the commands being executed are based on user input and not properly sanitized. It's important to validate and sanitize any inputs used with OS.execute to prevent command injection vulnerabilities. By default, OS execute blocks the Lua script until the command completes execution. However, you can run commands asynchronously by using operating system-specific mechanisms or by running them in background threads. The function returns true if the command was executed successfully and nil otherwise. Additionally, you can capture the exit status of the command using the status parameter. Overall, OS Execute provides a way to extend the capabilities of Lua scripts by allowing interaction with the underlying operating system, but it should be used judiciously and with caution, especially when dealing with user input or sensitive operations. Instead of generating a random number within a specific range, for the inflicted damage, we could use MathSQRT function with max health variable to determine the damage inflicted on the character. This change would cause the damage to be proportional to the square root of the character's maximum health. By understanding these fundamental concepts and functions, you can create more complex game mechanics and simulations in Lua.